This trip to the RDS was a daunting one for bottom side Zebre. They faced top of the table Leinster, a team they've never beaten, but they travelled to Dublin looking for their first ever back-to-back -back wins in the Rabo Direct Pro 12, having beaten Cardiff last time and with five Italian internationals back in their starting 15. The home side had won their previous eight games in all competitions and were unbeaten at the RDS since this time last year. Ian Madigan, making his 100th appearance on his 25th birthday, led the team out. Matt O'Connor fielded a side featuring 11 internationals with three more on the bench. The Irish team looking to copper fasten their position at the top. In truth, the first half at the RDS was one of the poorer halves of rugby at the venue in quite a while. In the eighth minute, Madigan got the first score of the game with a penalty after Zebre were penalised for not releasing in the tackle. 3-0 to the home side, and they wouldn't add to that until the 33rd minute. In the meantime, returning Italian international Tommaso Iannone, having missed two earlier penalties, then compounded a miserable half when he picked up a yellow card from referee Marius Mitrea for the same offence of not releasing as Dara Fanning made tracks into Zebre territory. It's number 10. Number 10, never releasing. Wait, wait. With the Italians temporarily down to 14 men, roll. Leinster struck. It was always going to be difficult for the visitors to hold back the incessant Leinster attack and centre Noel Reid burst through the Italian rear guard for the first try of the night. Back-to-back -back tries for the Leinster man, having scored against Glasgow last time. It was Reid's fifth try of the season, put Leinster 8-0 up, Madigan's conversion attempt drifting wide. That's how it stayed until the break. Home crowd looking for better fare in the second half to warm them up on a cold night in Dublin. It took a while to come, but eventually the Zebra Dam broke. On 59 minutes after an impressive Leinster Mall, Luke Fitzgerald got over for his first try of an injury interrupted campaign. The Irish international, not exactly enamoured with Yanone's foot first challenge, but pleased to get off the mark. Madigan converted for 15 0. And on 66 minutes, the number 11 was in for his second try of the night. Madigan started things off before Reid picked out Fitzgerald on the wing, 20-0. Leinster a try short of the bonus point. Matt O'Connor no doubt delighted to see Fitzgerald in sharp form approaching the business end of the season. Right at the death, the men in blue got that all-important fourth try when another totally dominant mall presented Jordy Murphy playing at number eight with the easy task of falling over the line for the crucial score. Murphy will hardly get an easier try all season. This, his third of the campaign. Italian resistance was broken by then and Madigan tagged on the extra two points with a brilliant last kick of the game to give Leinster a 27 points to nil victory. The Leinster men now look forward to facing Munster at the Aviva Stadium next time in what promises to be a great game. Zebre will have home advantage against Dragons next week. Final score at the RDS, Leinster 27, Zebre nil.